Well, we're going international for our travel talk with Debbie Griffiths today. Debbie, we're talking Singapore, but only a small part of it. Yes, small but perfectly formed. Now, it's called the State of Fun. It's Sentosa Island. It's just south of Singapore's main CBD, yeah. just off the mainland there. It's joined by a bridge, so you drive over there. And they have spent $7 billion constructing hotels, world-class golf courses, restaurants, family attractions, all these really great things that make it one of the best integrated resorts in the world. $7 billion. Mm -hmm. That's a huge amount of money. Yeah. So what sort of attractions are there then? Great family attractions. We've got Universal Studios. I'll tell you about that first because there are themes throughout the uh, park there. There's Far, Far Away, there's Madagascar, and everything, the attention to detail is absolutely brilliant. As you can see, there are rides there for every age level. I even got on a roller coaster, had a really great time. One of my favourite ones of rides to do was the Shrek 4D, where everything actually jumps out at the screen to you. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> it oh, that's fantastic. Crazy. Donkey sneezes, you get sprayed. It's oh. fantastic. Oh, really nice. good. So the attention to detail there, really great. Roller coasters, amazing adrenaline. And a hot tip for Universal, buy the Express Pass. It costs a little bit extra, but you get straight to the front of every line and it, you have a really oh, great Oh, that'll be money fun. well spent. Now yeah. tell me a little bit about Adventure Cove Water World. Now this Water World has something for the whole family. It's got, obviously, it's got the wave pools, it's got the water slides, it's got Southeast Asia's best magnetic water slide, which apparently goes super, super fast. I didn't try that one out. Husband did. He said it was amazing. Things for kids of all ages as well. You can see the, the, the drop-down water things as well. When you're on the lazy river on a tube, you're actually going through aquariums full of fish. Wow. Yeah. So tell me more about the aquariums. Now, SEA, Southeast Asia Aquarium is there as well. This has the biggest aquarium in Southeast Asia. Now what they do is they okay. send divers into the aquarium and the divers talk to you, to the audience, while you're outside watching them. Fantastic. Excellent. Oh, so it looks beautiful. Beautiful. And what about at night? Do you have to go back into the mainland or is there stuff to do no, on Sentosa? No, heaps to do on Sentosa at night as well. Every night, 9 o'clock, there is the crane dance, which is huge animatronic cranes, the biggest in the world, 10 storeys high, using LED lights, uh, using wow, look fireworks, at that. water. It's a spectacular show, a love story of animatronic, animatronic cranes. That it's gorgeous. looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. And the thing also to do in, if you're in the area in Singapore is make sure you flush the toilet. Apparently it is law. You have to flush the toilet. Whoa, toilet police. My, My children goodness. would be <laughs> shocking. They'd be thrown in jail straight away. Well, thanks, Debbie. That is fascinating. I cannot wait to go. What's the best time of year to go? Uh, great time over the next few months, so start planning now. Airfares from Singapore Airlines are around $1,500, just over $1,500 okay. at the moment. So start saving the money. Thank you so much, Debbie, and we will see you again next Wednesday.